Hey guys, welcome to another Triple T. We are in July, already more than halfway through 2014. It's been an awesome year so far. We're going to keep making it that way. Now, what we're going to be talking about this month is kind of an extension of what we talked about previously with having good equipment. As good equipment as you can possibly buy, sooner or later it's going to break, or it's going to malfunction, something's going to go wrong with it. And at that time, it's very important that you know how to work on your own equipment. Unfortunately, very few of us can carry around a gunsmith to every match or every competition we go to, so we kind of have to be self-reliant. I was very fortunate when I was kind of in my early development to be able to work for a great gunsmith down here in Texas and really learn how the 1911 STI 2011 really worked. And that's really carried over to other platforms as well when I started shooting through Smith & Wesson. Obviously, I was shooting the M&P. I tried to do as much of my own M&P work as I could because I wanted to understand how the gun worked. And if I needed to fix it while I was out on the range, I was able to do that myself, which is really a big peace of mind type of item when you're out in the middle of nowhere, there's no cell service, you can't call anybody, you're, you're there by yourself. So as I got into three gun two, now all of a sudden I've got to learn a rifle and a shotgun. There's all this stuff going on. But because I had that basic understanding of how guns worked, I was able to pick up on it pretty quickly. Overall, guns are pretty simple machines and there's a lot of resources out there to help you understand how they actually work. With all the CAD drawings now, there's a lot of really cool animations, and we're going to try and put some of those in the description for you to view. So you can see, again, just how exactly the gun works and what happens when you pull the trigger. It's really important that if you want to be that top shooter, in my opinion, that you know how to work on your own stuff. Not only so you can fix it if something breaks, but when you go to tune your equipment, go to tweak it, talk to your gunsmith, you know what to tell them so that they can get the maximum benefit to you. All right, guys, until we see you next time, make sure to catch up on the rest of the episodes of Triple T. I'm BJ Norris through MyGunTips.com. Train to triumph.